Karen, baby. <laughs> 380 damage. Woo-wee. If I just lost that way, I'd be so upset. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Shadow Rider Calrex VMAX is proving to be an absolutely dominant deck in the Pokemon trading card game. Thankfully, there are answers to it, and I'm not talking about Eternatus VMAX. The new single strike Urshifu from Chilling Rain is a great single prize budget option that absolutely destroys Shadow Rider, Calyrex VMAX, as well as many other decks that rely on Tag Team Pokemon and Pokemon VMAX. I'm really stoked to show off my new list, but before we check it out, let's check out the 4th of July sale at FullGripGames.com. This week only, we are hosting a huge sale on sealed Pokemon trading card game product at FullGripGames.com. We've got Battle Styles Booster Boxes for just $89.99, Battle Styles Elite Trainer Boxes for $29.99, Chilling Rain Elite Trainer Boxes for $34.99, and Galarian Rapidash V Boxes for just $14.99, Shining Fates Elite Trainer Boxes for $49.99, and the list goes on. You're definitely going to want to check out FullGripGames.com this week for some amazing 4th of July sales. If you've got some extra cards lying around your house and you're trying to get some cash for them or store credit or a new booster box, make sure to check out the Full Grip Games buy list. We are always buying bulk and singles at the shop and selling your cards to Full Grip Games directly supports the content I create here on Tricky Gym. Now let's check out that Single Strike or Shifu deck. Single Striker Shifu from Chilling Rain is the main attacker in this deck. It's a stage 1 Pokemon with 140 hit points and 2 attacks. Its first attack, Field Crush for a darkness and a colorless energy, does 50 damage and discards your opponent's stadium if they have one in play. Its second attack, Fists of Strife, is the main attack in this deck. For 2 darkness and a colorless energy, it does 100 damage plus 100 more damage if this Pokemon has any damage counters on it. Now thankfully, since Urshifu is a single strike Pokemon, we can rely on single strike Houndoom from Battle Styles and its single strike Roar ability to charge it up. Single strike Roar allows you to search your deck for a single strike energy once during your turn and attach it to one of your single strike Pokemon in play, but you have to place 2 damage counters on that Pokemon. Typically a downside, but with single strike Urshifu, it's actually a bonus since it allows you to swing for maximum damage with Fists of Strife. You swing for base 200 damage when you have some damage counters on you, and with Single Strike Energy, you get to boost that damage even further. If you have two Single Strike Energy attached to your Shifu, that's plus 40 damage, so 240 damage. If you have three, it's 260. Four Single Strike Energies on a single Urshifu, and you're going to be swinging for 280 damage. And since Single Strike Urshifu is Darkness type, it means that you're easily going to be one-hit KOing Shadow Shadow Rider, Calrex, VMAX, Trevenant, and Dustnor Tag Team GX, Gengar, and Mimikyu Tag Team GX, and all of those very popular Psychic-type Pokemon. In order to get our basic Pokemon out into play as consistently as possible, we've got four copies of Level Ball, as well as four copies of Capture Energy. Since Single Striker Shifu's attack costs two Darkness and a Colorless Energy, we can make great use of Capture Energy, and we only play two copies of Basic Darkness Energy, which can be nice if you actually end up using training and you can also shuffle them back into the deck with ordinary rod we also play four copies of evolution incense since you're going to want to get your hound dooms and your single strike or shifu into play as quickly as possible and we already have eight outs to search out our basic pokemon like hound door and cub Fu. so we don't really need to play pokemon communication to have any more outs to get our basic pokemon really all we need is to make sure that we find our evolutions when we need them we do play four copies of professor's research as well as four copies of Bruno, and I am really starting to like Bruno in all of my single prize decks. When one of your Pokemon gets knocked out, you get to turn that into a good thing with Bruno shuffling your hand into your deck and drawing seven new cards. In combination with Dance of Tribute Oracorio, you could see seven new cards with Bruno, then three more cards with Oracorio, get a huge 10 card hand, and really find all of the cards that you need in order to take big knockouts with Fists of Strife. One of my favorite plays that this deck can cook up is the Karen's Conviction play. It's a new single strike supporter from Chilling Rain that reads, during this turn, your single strike Pokemon's attack do 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon 
for each prize card your opponent has taken. Now, we've already said Urshifu can do 240 damage very easily. If your opponent has taken five prizes, that means you can use Karen's Conviction for plus 100 damage and swing for 340 damage with Single Strike Urshifu, easily knocking out the biggest Pokemon VMAX in the Pokemon trading card game. This deck is a ton of fun, and I'm sure you're going to love seeing it in action. Let me know what do you think of Single Strike Urshifu featuring Houndoom in the comments below. I saw Death Note. For sure. Death Note was cool. I I was very angry at what happened in the middle of Death Note. That that made me extremely upset. All right, I'll pass. Yeah, no leaks, but you know that big thing that happened in the middle of Death Note, that made me have physical pain and I stopped watching it for like 2 weeks. Yeah, I know I know the most about Death Note. It's like uh it's it's L and Light. Those those are the guys. Yeah. Yeah, L and Light. The best part about Death Note is like the the opening, you know, the setting up of the whole thing. The setting up of the whole game. Okay, so we're playing against this deck again. Awesome. Let's get it. I'm feeling confident. I think that we've got this one in the bag for surely. Evolution Incense. Yeah, man. I mean, we just... Go take the knockout with Houndor up here. That's fine. A couple of these dudes... Okay, I'll do that. I guess I can Tower of Darkness. This It's a little bit sus, but I do want to see some cards. Cool. All right, let's do this. I'm going to knock out the Remoraid. Uh, the Ordinary Rod, is it worth holding on to? No. All right, let's get, let's get it. Oh, beautiful hand. Gorgeous hand. Go get the bear. Evolve it up. And we're going to Darkness Fang for 90 damage. We've got an urn. Fantastic. That means that when this Houndoom inevitably gets knocked out this next turn, I can just earn those energies back into the deck. Now, I don't want to use this boss really yet. I could just capture for the Mew, though. So that's probably what we're going to do this next turn. We did get rid of the Ordinary Rod. It's a little bit annoying. So all I have to do is knock out a Zero Aura and the Blaziken. That's going to be game. So we can capture for the Mew. Probably on the new Cub Fu, right? Capture onto the new Cub Fu. We're going to... Single Strike Roar onto this or Shifu. Swing into the Blaziken. And then we're chilling. We do have to damage ourselves in order to get the boost with Fists of Strength. I could go in if I was trying to be really greedy. If I found a basic dark, I could attach to this and just fit to strife, Fists of Strife for like 100. Uh, and then... And then wait for them if they hit me for like 130, right? Which would be hilarious. And then I would have the damage on me to Fist of Strike for like 200. But that's probably not worth it. Yeah, so they got Knockout. Do they have an energy in the discard pile? No, to Accelerates. Well, that's really good. Huh. I hate to just give them a free knockout, but 
Yeah, feels like that's going to be the play. Capture energy. Go grab the Mew. Evolution incense. Grab this fella. Don't really want to get rid of one of these urns. We'll probably need all these. Throw that back into the deck so we're not going to tower darkness this turn. Just going to set up this single striker Shifu. Save that for next turn and I'll put two into the deck and research next turn. Which is fine. So I guess if I'm like getting ready to get rid of this I mean, I can just knock out the Zero Aura. No, we'll just hit the Blaze again. That's fine. Okay. This is Strife. And then... If they go and they pivot to attack with a different Pokemon... I don't know that they will, though. I mean, they'd have to tap a Coco Prism Star. All right, they're just going to gust the Mew right away. So now we're now that they're gusting the Mew, though, I feel like I just gust the Zeraora and just take it out of the equation. But then I will have to boss one more time for game. I do have another boss in the deck. It does put you know, some pressure on them though. They swing for two prizes next turn. I mean, they're not even swinging for two prizes. This Urshifu's got 140, so I don't care. I'm actually just gonna swing into this guy. We're chilling. And then whoever else they bring up, like they're in a bad spot. Yeah, we're just gonna research. Uh, we're just gonna we're gonna just continue setting up the deck. That's it, and then boss for game. All I need is a couple of cub foos, a couple of hound doors, so plenty. So like even if they take a bonus knockout, we can still win. Okay, capture energy over here, right? Just to kind of like sure up, sure up all my stuff, and then. Yeah, Fist of Strife, take the knockout. So I think this is going to give us the best chance of being able to win the game. I do have to find my last. I mean, but like they're going to attack with a Pokemon that's worth two prizes. So I don't really need, I don't really need the boss, right? So the thing is by, by gusting the Zera Aura there, if I gust the Zera Aura, then I leave the damaged Blaziken on my opponent's bench, and then they come up with a clean Blaziken and knock out my Urshifu, and then I could get, like, gusted out of the boss or whatever for game. But, like, here... Uh, here, it's, like, it's fine. If they come up with a single-strike Blaziken, it's not a problem. I don't know. I feel like this is a better route, but... Who knows? Why not KO the Octillery? There's no point in knocking out the Octillery. We've only got two prizes left. So we're looking at what is like the what is the path of least resistance to game, right? They're gonna want to attack with Zero Aura. If they attack with Zero Aura, they basically lose. Right, because he doesn't even KO the active. So here, yeah, they don't KO my Houndoom either. So that's fine because now I can uh, I can just draw a lot of cards, try and find game. Do that. Okay, there should be a bear left in the deck, and there's two air balloons as well. So we're gonna draw first. Not gonna attach the capture energy. We can't use. 
single strike Rory yet. Um, I think I want to research. It's a little bit dangerous because if I draw into too many, I'll lose, but that's fine. All right, we're going to research. Okay, we did find the bear. And then now I can, uh, we'll earn. Can roar, we've got three left in the deck. That's fine, we just win, right? Roar, roar, yeah, we just win. Cause I can just hard retreat. And then I can roar. And here we go. And GG sports fan. Fist of strife, 240 damage. Let's go. Yeah, this deck's a lot of fun. Whoo, playing against Shadow Rider. Okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Minart. Going first is such a trap, honestly. I do not want to bench this thing. But I think I kind of have to. So we'll do that. Yeah, you got it for Horror House, right? I agree. So, and we'll even just retreat into the Mew in case of Horror House. So, that's fine. And we're getting marnie and I have three supporters in my hand, so you know we'll never find another supporter. Okay. This is good. Oh, the Shadow Rider deck is bricking. Shadow Mist for 20. Time to get in there, boys. Let's go. Level ball. Another one of these dudes. Big research. That's fine. Urshifu. Pass. Now, obviously, I can't accelerate. You know, I can't attach special energy from hand, which is tough. But I can accelerate from deck. So once I get some Hound Doom set up, we're chilling. I feel like this matchup is going to be very good for us. We've only got one two prize Pokemon in the deck. Store Corio, just to give us a little bit of extra boost. I think that that makes a lot of sense considering that we really cannot afford to have other Pokemon on the bench like Dedenis and Crobats because we're going to need two Houndoom up every game and we're going to need two Urshifu up every game, right? So, like, you four of your bench spots are these guys. And they have to be. So I think the Oracorio just gives you like the most bang for your buck as far as like support Pokemon go. And then your Tower of Darkness also allows you to draw some cards, which is good. Yeah, but something that like sits and allows you to draw. That's that's definitely what you want in this deck. Now, my opponent probably nervous. Full art Galarian Zapdos. The Mewtwo and Mew, I guess Mewtwo and Mew is a way, right? Not actually weak to dark. So, that is their option. I got a question in the chat. Why Oracorio over Krikatoon? Because Oracorio allows you to draw more cards per turn. Um on average, because at maximum, Krikatoon gets you three cards, four cards, right? But Oracorio consistently gets you three cards. Also, you can Bruno and then Oracorio getting you 10, 10 fresh cards. Whereas like, if you, if you use, 
Um, if you use or, uh, Cricketune and then Bruno, you're not guaranteed to see new cards. You could Cricketune for three or four, right? And then Bruno and then get those same cards back. You know what I'm saying? So. Let's see what we can do. We got Oracorio, it's good. I've got a single strike energy in the deck right now. Oh yeah, this deck is broken. Scope this out. Might as well just accelerate that. Big Bruno. Like as you see right here, right? We're gonna Bruno and then I can draw more cards. out of the deck. With uh, Oracorio, just to get like a much stronger draw. Wow, look at, look at this. This is kind of crazy. I mean, look how strong our setup is. Like, do I need a fourth Houndoom? Not right now, we've got, you know, the dream is here. We can just Fists of Strife. Yeah, I mean, this is... I really do think that this is the ideal board for this deck, right? Because if they gust up my Oracorio, then they save... You know what I mean? Then they then they save my Urshifu to just, like, come back in. Oh, yeah, this deck rocks, dude. I really like this deck. It's got a really good flow to it. It's simple enough and does enough damage. You know, I'm not sure that we would do great against Arceus, Dalga, and Palkia GX, but like, uh, against like most VMAX decks. And this deck isn't really losing anything uh, to rotation. Sure, you lose the Oracorio GX, but like, outside of that, this deck keeps everything. So this is a, Pretty cool single prize budget deck. Yeah, this is probably going to be my favorite single strike deck right now, right? And since it has such a good Shadow Rider matchup. Oh, they're going to heal. Sad. All right. Now it's possible for me to one hit KO this thing, right? It's also possible for me to just boss and take a knockout. But let's see. Welcoming Lantern can get me back, Bruno. Okay. I think I have prized a single strike energy. Okay. So we want to find those cards first. But if I accelerate three onto the single striker Shifu, uh, I would need to be all four. So I can't take a knockout. So what I can do is I could see if I could boss and knock out a Shadow Rider, which would be really good. So let's capture energy first to get this other Cub Fu. And then I'm looking for one of my urns. So, we'll thin first onto the active. And then we're going to draw some cards. So, we've got Oracorio GX. Did not find the urn yet. And then I've got Tower of Darkness. Toss the Welcoming Lantern. Did not find the urn yet. So 70, 140 doesn't really do anything to anyone, unfortunately. And I didn't find the urn, so I have to ordinary round. That's fine. We'll do both. 
these fellows back into the deck. That dude back into the deck. And then I might as well Bruno and just see, like... I don't know. I kind of have everything that I want in my hand, but I do. I need to find an urn. So, that's fine. There we go. Now we earn. Um, I don't know that it's worth it to... Well, I guess it is. Yeah, it definitely is worth it to put one of these on, too. The Urshifu. And... Then just swing into the Mewtwo and Mew for 240 damage again. And the thing is, is like, I only have to attack two more times at this point to win. So even if they gust my Oracorio, then I boss, knock out whoever, and then knock out whoever again. So my path to victory is like, it's there for sure. I have the Pokemon in the deck that I need. Um, I just... I need my last urn. It's a really, it, and it's prized. There's one prized and one in my deck, and my deck is 21 cards. Could knock out this thing with Mew. That is correct. That's true. Mew is in my discard pile, though, and I have gotten rid of my rod. But I will say the Mewtwo and Mew is probably the only thing giving them a chance in this matchup. Because at 240, completely erase the damage. 240 again, right? We do play four urn. That seems like an you know, absolute necessity. Just don't give it to my... That's cool, actually. Yeah, that's fine. The Bruno is all I really need. So, because I only have to hit this thing for 50. So that's fine. So we'll promote this. Eh, potentially should have promoted the Oracorio and put the air balloon on it. But it's fine. We'll put the air balloon here. And then capture energy, get the other Cub Fu. And these should be the only guys I need to finish off this game. Big Bruno. And this is, again, why Oracorio is just better than Cricketune here. Because we're able to pull these plays off. So I absolutely need one to thin, grab this, and then the urn I want to find, but I don't want to draw into my other single strike energy. So we have to single strike roar first. Yeah, and we can do the 70 damage we need to take a knockout on the Mewtwo and Mew. And now we're looking for the urn to throw the energy back into the deck. So we don't find it yet. Level ball at this point is not needed. Evolution, incense, not entirely needed. Tower of Darkness, away the stadium. We find the urn, shuffle those two energy back into the deck, and then put the put the air balloon down in the level ball. Okay. And field crush for knockout. Let's see, we've got Cub Fu, another urn, and Houndor. The other urn is really good because then if I evolve into this Urshifu, I can So, like, who are they going to attack with, right? All their guys are weak to dark. I guess... Oof, stamp. Come on, now. <laughs> That's kind of cool. They've already used their GX attack. If they special laser, then I have to find my boss. Um, knocking this out won't get me win. So that's fine. This deck is cool, man. I'm I'm digging it for sure. You know, I love a single prize deck. Yeah, there they go. Scoop it up. 
Dang, man. That one was going to be for the tube, bro. We were setting up like a boss there. Let's get it. Another Eternatus V deck. Let's go. We've got a nice opening hand as well. I can't complain. Capture energies are insane in this deck. Turn one capture energy, get another hound door. We're off to the races. Nice, hand from above. It says after playing magic for 25 years at a high skill level, I can't confirm the Pokemon takes a ton of skill. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely Definitely skill involved in the Pokemon TCG. And I think that one of the coolest things about the Pokemon TCG is that it's got a lower entry level, but then a high skill ceiling, right? It's got both, which is great. It's exact, as a company, that's what you want. Hey, thank you, Taunt, for the 500 bits. Lil Gucci? Hey, thanks for that sub, Lil Gucci. I didn't, I missed the, uh... and thank you, Kai, for the 200 bits. The Tool Jammy, it'd be a shame if you're, uh, It'd be a shame if your man was to get knocked out this next turn, wouldn't it? It'd be a real shame. Um, so we attach... We attach this, retreat it. Yeah, 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 that's, that's, that's busted right there. Attach, retreat. Earn. Houndoom. Research, just get me the Urshifu and you're done. Never lucky. Why am I never lucky? I'm just never lucky, chat. I'm just never lucky. Why am I never lucky? All right, that's fine. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Okay. Level ball. Get another one of these dudes. Never lucky. Oh, I should have training to... It's fine. This thing's getting knocked out anyway. Let's see. Looney TNT says, I feel like skill is a thing, but luck is more a key to winning. Absolutely not. That is just not correct. Yeah. That is just simply not correct. The same players do well over and over again, and it's not because they have lucky underwear on, okay? <laughs> I can promise you that. Absolutely not. Yeah. Absolutely not. The Crunchy Cheeto says I don't wash mine. <laughs> ah, well, you know, TMI. Okay, I don't have the guy yet. Let's go here, and then I think I want to see if I can't uh, draw into the bear first. Yeah, here we go. We got evolution incense. Grab the bear, and then I got him. Got him right where we want him, chat. Got him right here. It's going to be a gnarly turn. Single strike roar. The absolute gnar. Um, yeah, let's see. Uh, is it worth it to ordinary rod yet? Oh, I'm going to hit this thing, and then if I only have four attackers, I hit this thing, I hit this thing, I hit this thing, I hit this thing. That's it. I can win with just four attackers. So I can research. It would be more impactful for me to actually get a... Yeah, that's fine. Ah, uh, That's fine. Yeah, I got all the bears in the deck. Insane. Be absolutely broken. Okay, let's go. I ho Silva! Hooray! No, we didn't get another bear, which is sad, but that's fine. And we will Fist of Strife. Now, obviously, there is uh, obviously there is RNG in any sort of um, 
in any sort of card game, there's RNG. But the skill in a card game is knowing how to uh, give yourself the best odds, you know, of, I mean, you imagine, I'm constantly calculating, you know, probabilities, right? Constantly. Like even, like uh, the smallest thing that last turn, right? Where I used Dance of Tribute before I researched, right? I knew to do that because I had a high amount of outs to Urshifu, and if I found the Urshifu, it was like a risk reward, but I calculated the risk reward in my head, right? And I was like, okay, I think that, you know, using the dance attribute there before the research, because usually you dance attribute after the research, except I already had the single strike energy in my hand, and I knew that, you know, it was going to be such a better play for me to use the Orcorio first, and that I had a high amount of outs to the, you know what I mean? So it's, it's not like I'm just sitting here clicking the buttons and, and things are just going. It's like, yeah, we make it look easy, but that's the whole point. Like when you actually are behind the wheel of the deck, you can sit there and stream chat and just be like, oh yeah, I would have made that play. I would have made that play. I would have made that play. Yo, get you behind the wheel of the deck and see if you're making those plays. Like you probably, you know, you might not, you know? <laughs> you might not be making those plays. It might be, uh, it might be making some different plays. Got this guy. And then got the urn. So I think I want to earn and then draw first. I only need to do a hmm. Yeah, I need to do a hundred damage. Alright, so we should earn and then draw, right? Because I want I want to find an energy. That's going to give me okay, so we go here. Put those in. And then we draw, right? But then we don't use single strike roar first. Because then, oh, okay. <laughs> that's, that's one way to do it. Uh, let's see. Hopefully, I still got two in the deck. I do. Insane. Excellent. And then, single strike roar. Urn, baby, urn. You would have roared first? Yeah, that was not... You don't want to roar first there. Because... You need to have energy off the draw. Right? Yeah, and I think it's such a cool thing about this deck. The fact that... Oh, this is so crazy. I got the Karen's Conviction in my hand. They go to three prizes. Yo, please knock out, please gust my aura choreo, please, please. Let's see, how much am I doing? Two, four, six, eight, eighty, and then I can put another single strike energy on. So I'm doing two sixty plus eighty. That's it. Please, boss my aura choreo, please. I want to do the play so bad. <laughs> Please do it. And no big charm. That doesn't count. If you gust with the with the big charm, that's that's foul play. Alright, tool jammy. You got the weave island, you move the energy up. Oh no. Not like this. That's fine. Ooh, welcoming lantern. I've got no Brunos in my discard pile. What's the point? Okay. So I'll just have to attack twice to win the game. So I do need to find more urns. And then... Looney, there is a ranking system. Oh, no! 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 <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> <laughs> the tool jammer. <laughs> no. All right. I think we're fine though. I've still got two single strikes on the deck. So we're chilling, bro. We're chilling. We're chilling. Chilling, dude. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. How much damage am I doing? 220. 
Yeah, we got the Urshifu. Yeah, I can knock out that Moltres. Okay. I think probably better to knock out the... Anyways, let's level ball. Okay. I do not want to draw into any of my energies, so I have to do this first. Does it resist dark? No. All right, here we go. Now we do that. Cool, looks like I'm going the old boss boss strategy. I could gust up coughing, honestly. That's probably the best play, because then I can put it, I could put like an energy onto this cub foo. I think. It would have been so much better to just... Oh, I guess I can... No. Yeah, no, I have to ball... I've... Yeah, I've really gone and done it now. All right, that's fine. I can, bo I can boss the coughing, right? 60 damage. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We'll do that. I'll boss the coughing. Better than chat? I know. Looking real sus now, Mahone. Man says he's better than chat. There's an urn. Oof. Cooking. Back into the deck with you. Over here. Nothing. Level ball, there's nothing. I haven't played a single strike supporter yet. Woo! Okay. Field crush. 90 damage. Bruno! There we go. Okay. Yeah, I definitely made my life harder there, but that uh eh, either way I was probably gonna need a boss for game, right? So like it doesn't really matter, but I guess I, I wasted a boss out of my deck. So yeah, we should not have promoted the Oracorio. I just forgot about the tool jammer. Rage Ohio says it makes you mad that I put switch into the board and then click. It's more exact. Um, I actually, it bothers me to do, uh, to do the other play. It bothers me to drag the switch onto the Pokemon. That, that makes me like, no. Oh, for sure. No, 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 but you're not alone. You're not alone there, Rage Ohio. Yeah. You're not alone. All right, 420 damage. Oh, let's go. Yes, we've got it. GG's, it's over, <laughs> it's over, it's over. Single strike roar, single strike roar. Garen, baby, <laughs> 380 damage, woo wee. Busted deck. I know. I'd be if if I just lost that way, I'd be so upset. <laughs> I'd be so upset. Yeah. This deck is quickly becoming one of my favorite single prize decks to play, and I think it's got a bright future. There's only one card in this list that rotates in September. The rest of it's going to be standard legal for a long time to come. Thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell, and of course, check out the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash trickygym, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content every single weekday. We've got a super welcoming community there, and we'd love you to be a part of it. Y'all have a busted day. Peace.